big, warm round of applause for Biko. I chose these poems tonight because I was reminded about the words of a great man who once said that tyranny abounds while good men say nothing. Reflections. He sees the world through the shattered pieces of himself, rakes the reflections of the sparkling dew for answers, sifts through fragments of self-image gleaned from an endless childhood dreaming sunk deep in the empty miasma of afternoon sitcoms and morning cartoons, seeking answers to experience the unanswered questions of absence in the flickering screen. But icons never answer. They only invite questions. Endless reflections of infinite illusion dancing at the end of a being. The dogs of war. A presidential, parliamentary, manipulated mandate from the people. Look out, it's the people's will. Prime ministerial propaganda doing undemocratic dirty work. Look out. He's in for the thrill. Using patriotic paternalism, fascist fundamentalism rewrites the law. Look out, he's got a license to kill. And these are the dogs of war. An unholy trinity, an axis of evil, stars and stripes, Southern Cross and Union Jack protecting the status quo with the blood of those who couldn't fight back, putting plans on fast track, counting the spoils a victory so sure, grandstanding, gunboat morality. They signed the contracts well before in the appalling overkill, a bloody campaign of shock and awe. Yes, these are the dogs of war. Blood-lusted breath, spraying mega death, exchanging life for oil. Bigots claim liberation as the corpse of a nation lies in blood-soaked soil. Drooling, gnashing, ripping, slashing. Snarling for spoils as they tear at the beast. Beware, beware, the dogs, my friends, for they do not come in peace. Lest we forget, they gather at the gates of memory, crying an endless fountain of tears etching in stone the names of those who did not return. They are the black brides of war, shadows in the landscape, reminders of the missing of, of bodies lying in far off lands. Mothers, daughters, sisters, weeping, wreathed in the rituals of loss, Walking the long dark night, a shadow made by a dead man's soul. Of all that could but will never be. Of that which is gone, never to be whole. And they gather at the gates of memory, crying an endless fountain of tears, etching in stone the names of those who did not return. 
lest we forget. Lest we forget in our warm comfort of our place in the sun. Lest we forget that the burden of war lies with the living. A bitter price for those left behind. As they count and count and count the cost of that which is too soon taken. A monument to grief and loss. Lest we forget. The ugly American. We have become the ugly American, shoveling fast food chains and Botox injected pluck, suck, fuck, and tuck clinics into our ravenous, neon encrusted maw. We are infected with the genetically engineered anthrax of Americanization, <laughs> sliding into a superating sloth, sucking into our passively palpitating perceptions the processed pastiche of cathode caricatures from the bloated breasts of the bitch whore goddess Hollywood. And we have become the ugly American, preferring to bury our heads in the sand of a 1950s atomic age dream. Blissfully unaware of our bloated asses blistering in the reflections of a mushroom cloud sunset. Our rednecks betraying a willful ignorance built on the flayed back of a forgotten and stolen Aboriginal. Our blind eyes forever shuttered to the pain outside our own experience, to the truth of our own ugly shadow, a blot on the historical landscape as we sell the blood of this ancient land, pimping her like a rattled whore to the highest bidder in our ultimate act of terror nullus. And we have become the ugly American. So unreflective, we have disappeared into the black hole of our own dead dreaming. Freddy Krueger now walks in a business suit, trading his fist of death for yet another decade on the postmodernist recliner of his robber baron empire. Eating the lotus that grows on the unborn, rapaciously sucking the blood of the future to flood our overfed senses in yet another frantic and futile search for endlessly empty meaning. And we have become the ugly American. For in our silence, we are content to share the spoils and give consent. <laughs>